In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about video formats to know your way around them. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and let's take a dive into the world of video formats. So after watching this video, you could decide which one is the best one for you. First of all, let's talk about the most common video file formats you may come across in your everyday life. Obviously MP4, absolutely the most common one. Then MOV, which you see more often if you're using macOS. MKV, if you download a lot of movies. AVI and WebM. Additionally, if you work with DVDs, VOB is also something you might come across. Now, what are the differences between these file types? These file formats are container file formats, which means that they don't only contain the video data as if it was a reel of film, they contain video data, the codec, audio data, and metadata as well. When it comes to commercial file container formats, the codec plays a huge part in compatibility and file size as well. What a codec does is basically that it analyzes the video data and if it detects that a certain part, for example, of the image doesn't change for multiple frames, it doesn't replicate the same data multiple times, just uses the one that it already loaded in. This way, the size of the file will be smaller and therefore easier to play across multimedia devices. The most common and most widely supported codec type is H.264. I mean, I haven't come across a scenario yet where a video player was not compatible with H.264. Not in the past 10 years for sure. Now, MP4 and MOV are brothers because both of them can be exported with H.264. But even between the two, the combination of MP4 and H.264 is the most convenient one because it can be used literally everywhere and you'll get high quality video files with manageable file sizes. If you're an online content creator, for example, it's definitely a perfect choice. But nonetheless, it is a file format that comes with compression. When it comes to MOV, the first hardship that may occur is that unless you're using a Mac or have a video player that supports MOV like VLC, you won't be able to play it. The reason why is that it is a Macintosh based file type. It can also be exported with H.264 codec which makes it a bit easier to handle and smaller in size but the biggest advantage of this file format is the ability to hold raw video data when used with a codec like ProRes, which is also Macintosh based by the way. Now a ProRes and MOV combination is what professional film and video making uses because of the uncompressed raw video data that it can handle. Professionals use raw video formats to have more room for post-production, like color grading and VFX. A ProRes MOV file is going to be really big in terms of size, so I really only recommend it for professional use. An H.264 and MOV combination is still a perfect duo for social media purposes though, in fact, an MOV file will have somewhat better quality compared to MP4 in my opinion. Now let's take a look at an old timer file format, AVI. AVI is a container file format that can even store uncompressed data. It is still supposed to be supported by most multimedia devices, although my memories with AVI is that I always needed Media Player Classic on Windows or VLC. And same for Mac, because the built-in media players just couldn't handle it. Nevertheless, if you want to export high quality videos with still manageable file sizes, AVI is a good choice. Alright, moving on to the file format of high quality movie downloads. <laughs> MKV is used to hold high quality media files without caring much about the file size. It is still smaller than a ProRes MOV for example, but much bigger than an MP4H.264. If you had ever downloaded a movie in Full HD or 4K, you might have come across it. Honestly, I don't recommend using it on a daily basis because it isn't supported by a wide range of media players. More and more often, you might also see WebM video files, which I personally hate. It's a file format that was developed for internet use, hence the name Web Media. It's supposed to be small in size, which it is, and not horrible in quality. When it comes to websites where you want to upload videos directly and the size of the file matters a lot, it's an ideal choice. Otherwise, it's not ideal for offline purposes. And finally, VOB is the video file format that you'll need for video DVDs. But the good news is that when you're creating a video DVD with a software like the Wondershare Uniconverter, you can use other video file types like MP4 or MOV to make the DVD, as the DVD burner tool will take care of the rest of it. 
Additionally, you can use the converter tool in the Uniconverter to convert any video files based on your own needs. It's fast and supports over a thousand file formats. You can try out different file types for your own needs as well and then choose based on the best result. But if you want to make sure that your video is widely supported, high quality and compact in size, go with MP4 with H.264 codec. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you found some useful information in it. And if you still have questions left, don't hesitate to ask. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content related to video making. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.